Hello everyone. In this video I am going to play Loopy from Simon Tatum's Portable Puzzle Collection. Uh, this is a great collection. Uh, these games, uh, uh, all the levels are computer generated. There are infinitely many possible levels and it's available on many platforms. So anyways I'm going to play Loopy and what I'm going to do is uh, so in Loopy, uh, let me first uh, describe the game. The goal is to draw a loop, uh, a single loop. So um, uh, these numbers tell you how many of the edges are part of the loop. So if this number is 0, for example, none of these uh, are part of the loop. And this number is 3, so all of these are going to be part of the loop and so on so forth so you can uh, quickly uh, figure out uh, many possible uh, deductions uh, for this uh, game so there are many different configurations in the game uh, there are squares and then there are others uh, kites and uh, hexagonals and so on so what i like to do is i like to start at the 10 by 10 squares heart and go work my way down solve all of these configurations so I solve one level and then go to the next one and I try to do this as quickly as possible so let's go to the uh, 10 by 10 squares hard and when I press N here I get a new level N and I get a new level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use this uh, timer and uh, I'm going to start the timer and go back to puzzle, get a new one, and then start solving. And we will see how quickly uh, I solve them. And uh, let's get some background music and we will start. Okay, the next configuration is triangular. This configuration is usually uh, straightforward, uh, but it takes some time to do because uh, well, there are uh, there are many paths that you need to click on, so it takes some time, but usually straightforward.
okay. Snub Scratch. This one is uh, usually uh, easy. Usually. Sometimes you get some challenging uh, situations here. Cairo. Cairo is uh, tricky. I mean, Cairo usually runs into some some uh, difficult situations, but uh, we will see. Okay, next level is Kites. Kites is also a straightforward.
Okay. Penrose. Okay, Penrose is one of the more difficult ones. And this is simply because it's hard to tell apart these shapes. For example, this says two, so there is one. It's just it's just difficult to to uh, you know see these shapes. Uh, but once you get used to that, so once you get to the, get used to those difficult shapes, it usually becomes easy. Usually, deductions are not uh, very complicated. There we go. And this one is uh, similarly, uh, once you get used to these uh, weird shapes, uh, it's uh, easier. Okay. Now honeycomb. Honeycomb. Uh, I used to find it very difficult, but uh, over time, it's it's gotten easier. Okay.
Oh, this one is tricky. Not sure how to take care of this one. to be this way. Let's see. Okay, that was a little bit tricky actually. Okay, Kagome. This Kagome, um, they did not have this before. It must be a recent edition. So I'm not super familiar with it. But it's okay, let's see. was tricky actually. I hope I got it right. Okay. So with these ones, the only challenging part is that there is a lot of clicking.
So by the way, when you finish a level, it kind of flushes very briefly. So that's when I know I have finished it and I move on to the next, next level. is usually not very difficult. Decagonal. Okay, there is a lot of clicking around in these levels because of these massive 12 sided shapes. can see this one is not very difficult. Great though decagonal is a little bit more difficult.
Finally, the great great do the cardinal. This is also a recent edition. I am not super familiar with this one too. But doesn't look very difficult. So as you can see this has the same uh, problem, a lot of clicking. That's it. So that was 32 minutes, 16 seconds, and 134 milliseconds. So that was actually uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, I think I did slightly better before, but this is a good time. So, anyways, thank you for watching and have a nice day.